What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This is what I have here next now. A lot of things to talk about because Bitcoin right now is doing uh, pretty scary moves in my opinion. Like I said before, I have been very patient because if you guys have been watching the videos, am I recording? Yeah, I am. I don't know why I was there the whole time. If you guys have been paying attention to my uh, videos and actually have been watching them, etc., etc., you know, whatnot, I was saying that this was probably like the most it was going to give out and that we needed to come down. And that I did, I did say we were going to see uh, high 6Ks, low 7K. Which right now seems like what's that is what's happening, and I'm actually happy it is because we needed this correction and bad. The weekly we closed on red, it seems like now there's going to be a lot more people now, especially the beginners that are going to be selling their their all their stuff, all their Bitcoin and whatnot for these prices which is sad but i mean that's what happens but they are going to start selling and whenever more and more people start selling this price will just start going down i do hope to see 6800 i'll be happy to see 7000 probably the most I, it probably will bounce here and start going up again and whatnot and uh probably start bouncing up and down in this little zone and slowly head up Give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. Anyways, where was I at? So this, I think, do think this will start going uh, lower than what it is right now. Cause there will be people scared and whatnot, or it could just start doing a little bit of bouncing up and down this small little area, and probably try to hit, try to pass that nine k again. But I honestly don't feel like it's you know gonna do that. I'm have I lean more. That it's gonna go down and hit this line where I have it right now, but the price right now is 7,900. It did break through that. It first broke through that 84 and then the 81, which were big players actually. 8,800 was right there, and then this 83, 8,400 zone was pretty important too. But now we're trading at 79. Ah. Uh, we got to be careful here because now altcoins are also being affected. Let's see what we have on the coin market cap. Let's see. Oof. A lot of red, guys. Which ones are up? Maximine coin and eh. Bitcoin SV. Need to get out of that. Whoever owns that, I'm sorry. That's not a good thing. No, not a good bag to own. <laughs> BitTorrent, I'm glad I sold. I sold mine at 17. I'm actually going to buy back. Not bad. Okay, I still have all my Tron. I haven't sold a uh, Tron yet. Um, well, I did so, just not like all my bag. I should have though. That would have been pretty dope. And then bought it back. Chain link is down 13 EOS. I know EOS hit like, oh my god, it hit like $9, I think. EOS is alright. I'm not I'm not really into EOS as much. Yeah, it hit almost nine dollars, eight fifty, give or take. Which it ain't bad. But right now we're seeing big pullback. Right now the a really good one to buy would probably be probably be Litecoin since the happening is really really soon. So I'd actually load up a little bit more uh, Litecoin. I bought Litecoin at thirty three dollars. Um, I have it in my Ledger Nano S. So hell yeah, let's get it. Binance Coin. I still have Binance Coin. I bought ten of them at like twenty two dollars. I have no Bitcoin SV. Fuck that. No, I'm not getting any of that. I was going to get Cardano and Monero, but I ended up getting IOST, which, how much is IOST? 11. Uh, 
Not bad. I might actually buy more. <laughs> this is easy. Uh, 10, 100x, man. I'm telling you, this is easy, easy money to be made. But it all depends on what Bitcoin does. We have to be very careful here. A lot of volatile movements coming in. Anything can happen. It went as low as 77. Oof. Dang. The RSI is looking really good. Hopefully it starts going into the oversold territory and it bounces right back up. Yeah. That looks really good. I did say I wanted to see this go down even more. That's awesome. I actually do like this. A lot of people are going to be scared, but I'm actually pumped because this is really good. All this was just... FOMO and just pump 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 which is good for people that you know have been in here since all the way down here and whatnot accumulating I have a small bag not too much but now I can finally calm down you know at least a little bit for now this is great so if you guys want to start my honest opinion is cost averaging those of you that were buying up here y'all got fucked I'm sorry but now the price is 79, 7800. Buy like 10%. This is I'm not your financial advisor or anything, but you know, don't take my advice as financial advice and whatnot. But um, right now, like buy 10%. If it goes down to 7700, buy another 10%. If it goes down to 72 or 7000, buy another 10%. Cost average your way down until it hits a bounce and it goes up. That's what that's what I've been doing. That's it's an easy game I say easy but once you understand the market and what it does and how people react because all this is just people reacting to the market but you have to be careful in this this is not a toy game or anything this is real money real money being lost real money being made you gotta be careful let's see um, I also what else do I have oof I wonder what Zcash is at. 83. This is still, in my opinion, very cheap. Very, very cheap. I don't care. This one's going like 90 something. Awesome. 81 low. Okay. I have my amount. It's in my nano also. 30 day, hit 96 high. Cool. We have to get ready for this because this will be worth hundreds, maybe, maybe thousands. It depends on the pump on Bitcoin. We have to watch Zcash very, very closely. I can't wait for it. Oh my God, this is so good. That is great. The price in Bitcoin went up. But the price now, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. I love it. I love to see this. We have to see more of this, please. What's in the four hours? The four hours were below the ribbon also. It's just a lot of red. Look at that. It's just a waterfall. Nothing but waterfall. And this happened like in a period, like literally in just a matter of hours, this happened. Knocked out all this. Now, we got to watch out. Probably the next level, 76. Hmm. Yeah, about yeah, 75, 7600. That is crazy. And now since price did go lower, now there's going to be a lot more news and uh sh there's going to be um like news reports and everything. There's going to be articles and etc, cetera, etc cetera, talking trash about Bitcoin. It's just an endless cycle. And once you understand this, there's money to be made. But the only the good the good thing about this also, I get to load up on Tron. I was gonna look it up, but wait, I didn't really talk about it though. Three three, heck yeah, I like to see that. Let's get it. I don't have IOTA. Neo would be an easy a hundred X too. I saw this at nine dollars, and I was gonna get some, but I didn't. Oh well. That's great. I want to see more down. Like I, I want to see Bitcoin succeed and you know hit 80k because that's my price target, eighty thousand dollars. 
but sometimes you just can't you know it just depends on what the market people want to see it depends it depends that's still good not too bad I think that's where I had that no, I had that like right there yeah that is freaking great oh my god I'm so hyped man let's see the ribbon now it finally caught up I know I was telling you we got like the ribbons and everything the moving averages um, were all the way down here and the price was like all the way up here but now finally that the ribbons have finally catched up to the price to the candlesticks and everything now we're gonna finally see that volatility even more because it started to the oh man the estimated moving at the 4 EMA and yeah mm, and the MA they're both actually starting to point downwards the 20 20 EMA wow mm, I could probably see this bounce a little bit but in the end my target personally is like high 6k low 7 seven thousand. that's where I'm gonna start loading heavily again because this will hit 80k I don't know when but it sure will a lot of people's price targets are three hundred thousand dollars, but I mean, if it hits that, I will be gladly to quit my job. I don't mind. Let's just be very careful about what we do, guys. But this is happening right now. Keep an eye on Bitcoin. Keep an eye out on altcoins because right now altcoins are very, very cheap, especially the ones that are in the top ten. Top ten are very important. I'm not much of a big Ethereum fan, but I have XRP. I don't have any Bitcoin Cash. I got Litecoin, XRP, Binance, Tron heavily. Man, I got thousands of dollars in Tron. I know that. Dogecoin, 28th. Wow, that's not bad. I know Dogecoin will probably do 10x easily in the next bull run. That ain't bad. BitTorrent, easy, 100x. I can't wait for the next. Oh, Pundi. I forgot I had a Pundi. Nine. It dropped down a little bit. Not too bad. I've been having this bag for months, and I'm getting paid out. If you guys have the Pundi X wallet, um, and if you have it, and you transfer over your, your coins to the wallet, you get a percentage. I think it's like, don't quote me on this. I think it's seven percent a month unless they went lower I can't remember I haven't even seen their website yeah you get whenever you hold a, uh, your bags and everything in their wallet you get literally monthly payouts of the percentage of how much you have which is actually really good because you get to accumulate while you're holding there's the app is easy to use, easy to uh, create an account. It's using your phone number and everything to log in. There's a, like you can literally make payments online. Like they're making big moves, man. Pundi is gonna be huge. 100x. I'm being dead serious. Easy. That's why I load up on Pundi. Pundi is still cheap. Very very cheap. Look at this. It hit a high of what? Wow, one cent? Wow, one cent and a half. Oof, easy. Almost, whoa, yeah, a little over 10x. Every $1,000, you're gonna get 10K back in the next bull run. Plus, what everything that they're doing right now, that will be more, it will be a massive move that it will do. They'll be coming out with cards, they're doing freaking, um, oh my god. If you don't see what's happening in the world in the future, you're falling behind, buddy. That should be it. But yeah, guys, just keep an eye out on Bitcoin. Make sure 
you make the right decision on what you do, but at the end, we're all gonna make money as long as we hodl, right? So let's get it. But the point about this is get as much Bitcoin as you can possibly get because I saw I saw some I saw a video actually. Okay, look. Okay. Cause I saw a video on YouTube where it said there are I think it did he did it like this. There's seven billion people in the world, right? That's thousand million billion. And let's divide it by the circulating supply. Seventeen seven three eight nine six two. Not including how many Bitcoin have been lost or you know oh I did it wrong. Seventeen seven three eight nine six two divided by seven billion people because there's seven billion people and every what if everybody needs bitcoin that means each and every one of you will each and every person in the world is going to need 0. 0.0025 bitcoin per person that's at seven billion people which is almost nothing how much is that in usd i'm checking that right now i have a calculator on here 0. 0.0025 bitcoin is currently twenty dollars wow everybody in the world in order for it to be pro proportionally equal it is 0. 0.0025 bitcoin that's twenty dollars that's going to be the average for each and every one person right now obviously there's going to be more people or less people it depends on whatnot but he also mentioned this guy i think it's like investor crypto invest i can't remember his youtube channel but he did say that that's going to be the average person in the future it's going to have you know 0. 0.0025 bitcoin but the wealthy wealthy people that will be considered wealthy is 0. 0.03 bitcoin 0.03 Bitcoin is $244. If you hold point, even if just get a Ledger Nano and just hold 0 0.03 Bitcoin, you, your wife, your kids, etc., etc., hold it, forget about it. Lo uh, don't lose it. <laughs> Please don't lose it. Uh, store it in your bank and a safe, whatever. Just store it, save it for 10, 15, 20 years for your future kids, grandkids for yourself i don't care just hold you know at least 0 0.03 bitcoin because in the future 0 0.03 bitcoin and up are going to be considered wealthy and, and, and what about if you even hold just one bitcoin that's gonna you're gonna be filthy rich compared to so many people that are only gonna have 0 0.0025 bitcoin which is crazy. It's mind blowing. I really wish you guys could see that video. I can't remember the guy's Instagram, um, YouTube channel, but the way he explained it was just mind blowing. Especially because of the happening and everything. It's this price is cheap. It could easily hit 80k easily. Did it bounce already? Probably. Uh, it's still circular. Uh, Coin market cap is always behind, anyways. But yeah, guys, that's all I'm going to talk about. But thank you guys so much for watching. As always, take care. Peace.